Hey, my name's Charlotte Salomon, and I'm the artist for the Shiloh's collection. And today I'm just going to do a quick introduction to Photoshop. I've been asked by a few people what program I use, and this is pretty much it. Um, first of all, I'm just going to open a document I'm working on. I'm just going to go to my open recent files. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to open that one here. Um, zoom that one in a bit, and that fits screen. Okay, I'm going to go through the tool menu at the top first. Um, we have the file, which is obviously open, new, save, usual suspects in there, edit. Um, I think the most common used in here is the transform tool which you will use to scale, rotate, screw, distort. Warp is very, very popular. I use that a lot. Um, changing the shapes of whatever you're playing with, really. If I just use that now, you can see what I have here, and I can really sort of pull this around a bit. Okay. That doesn't look so good, but <laughs> sometimes you can make it look good. I can lengthen its legs if I want to twist things around. And you apply that. I don't want to though, so I'm just going to control Z that. But anyway, that's the transform tool. Um, free transform is just basically a mix of everything in there. Um, you have some menu preferences and things in here, but uh, it's pretty much the transform, and then obviously the usual edit menu things, which you get the cut, and copy, edit, paste, all that stuff. Under image, you have the um, adjustments menu, which controls your levels. You also have some auto levels and contrast and things. Your color balance, all the brightness, contrast, shadow. Um, you can also show all menu. There's quite a lot of options in this menu. Um, yeah, but that's the so your image size, canvas, and all the canvas rotations are done in this menu. If you come to the layer section. We have a list of all the layering options, putting on a layering mask. Um, yeah, I don't use this so much. I usually work from this area here, but you can do everything pretty much in here. Select, um, I'll tell you a really useful one in here is the color range. If I just really would like to remove perhaps the beige on the background, I just click on this. And that selects it, and I can either remove it or I can adjust it or you know do whatever I want with it. Really, that's a really helpful way of just selecting a color very, very quickly. I'm going to press Control D to deselect that. Then we come into the filter, which is full of fun stuff. Um, here we've got our blurring, distort, noise, um, a lot of filters, a lot of things to play with. Um, I don't really use this too much, to be honest. Um, it's only for a very quick effect and doesn't do it. I see the one I one I do use in here is a liquidify. Come into here. This one's brilliant. I'm just gonna make my brush a little bit bigger by pressing the square bracket. And if you just watch, I can just manipulate. Oh, that looks terrible, but yeah, you get the idea. You could just manipulate your work, pull it around a bit, stretch, screw it, pull it pinch it, all that stuff. If you want to change something just a little, that's great. You press OK to... Yeah, that doesn't look so good. There we go. Um, Analysts, I never use this. Um, it's just about your rulerings and markers and accuracy and all that stuff I never look at. Um, your viewing of your windows, if you have a lot of things open. Sometimes I use that window, arranging your workspace again, viewing. And in your window, we're here just looking basically at our menu, which menus we want present and showing on the sides in here, which ones you want. Yeah. And obviously the help sections here. Okay, so that's the top. That's the top menu down here. We've got the basically the grab and move tool, which allows me to pick things and move them around. 
selection, select box, so I can just select a box shape with that. If I left click on it, I can get all different kinds of shapes. Oh, no, that's not worked. Hang on. There we go. I can get a circle. Control D to deselect. Here you have the point to point, the lasso tool. All the different types of lasso is in here. Um, here we have the quick selection tool, which is one of my favourites again, the magic wand tool. Quick selection tool, which really easily, not so easily. Just basically, I can select things pretty quickly in a short space of time. Crop tool. These two I don't use. The paintbrush tool, obviously I use this one all the time. If you want to get your paintbrush tool set up really quickly, just press F5 and there it is. And you can just play around in this, changing your brush sizes and everything. This is the clone tool. Um, yeah, I do use that sometimes. It's not a lot though. History brush, not used. Eraser I use quite a lot. You always need a good eraser. You also have the magic eraser tool, um, which just picks an area to erase for you, roughly. The background eraser also as well. It, it tries to judge which is the background and which one is the object and delete accordingly, but it doesn't always work. Um, here we have the fill tool. The smudge tool, very useful for digital artists. We've also got the sharpen and the blur tool in here. Um, not as much as used as the smudge tool is. Here we have, uh, here's some good tools in here. We have the dodge tool, the burn tool, and the sponge tool. Now the dodge tool will lighten a colour when I draw on it, as you can see like this. Control Z that. The burn tool will darken it. This is great for making shadows. And the sponge tool basically just removes colour. So it just turns it to black and white basically. But um, they're very, very useful tools. They're very useful. Um, the pen tool I never use. Text tool is here. Um, the path selection tool, again, I don't touch it. Um, shape tool. Notes tool, um, all of these ones there. Only two I use them here is really the hand tool and the zoom tool. And here we have our background and foreground colors. Select the color, we just click on one and just drag around as appropriate. Thank you. Here we have our preview. This is called our navigator. That's where we can see what bit we're looking at. If you notice, if I zoom in right now, there we go. We can see how that's highlighted there. So I can actually see exactly what I'm looking at on here. Um, I'm not going to do too much details of this right now. Um, here we have our color. Color graphs are all in here. And this is our layers palette here. And this shows me all the layers I have in this image. And I can, if I press the I right now, it goes away. I can also make a new layer by pressing this little get off. I'm going to press this here. So no, I think it's, it looks like a piece of paper. I think it's meant to be a piece of paper. And if you want to delete the layer, I can just right click on that. Delete layer. Yes, please. Um, and that's it. That's just a quick introduction into Photoshop. And I hope it's been helpful. And thank you for listening. For more information and tutorials, please visit charlottesalomon.com.